companions of Zan. Are you sure, Demon Zan, that you are uh, the mantle for this wager? Yes, Demon Earth. My will is made of iron. Save your foolish puns for the mundanes, Demon. We are agreed on the terms. Yes, we shall bring two mundanes into Zan to compete for the prize. If your mundane wins, then I will yield to you this matter. If my mundane attains the prize, however, then I will claim victory. Are the companions ready? They have their instructions. Grundy Golem will advise the mundanes that they must choose a native of them. Tell me about the mundanes. One is a boy named Doug, the other is a girl called Kim. Each will be lured into Zan on different pretexts. Enough talk then, let the game begin. I'm gonna talk over this while let the credits roll while I talk. Hello everyone, welcome to Companions of Xanth. As you can see, it was based on books Demons Don't Dream. I've never read the book. I bought the game and it actually came with the book, but this was back in the 90s, I believe. So, well, let me turn down the volume of the game a bit. There we go. Now you can hear me better, I hope. Um, now, I don't remember actually playing or beating the game. I believe I remember watching my brother play. So let's come on, click into the game now. Let's get started. You are sitting at your desk, watching the gathering storm through your window. So this is a Xanth. Well, actually, no, it's not Xanth. Read the envelope. It's a slightly mangled envelope addressed to you from your girlfriend. Scribbled on the front reads, return to P. Frank. Blah, 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 blah. Deliver to Doug Smith. Blah, 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 blah. I really hope those aren't, I mean, I'm pretty sure those aren't real addresses. Just to be safe, I'll probably blur those. All right, let us open the envelope. You don't have the... Uh, I have to pick, take the envelope. Right, take. Envelope. Open. Envelope. Read letter. Doug, my parents have grounded me indefinitely for staying out so late with you last night. You really could have kept better track of time. Sorry, cursive is not the best thing for me to read. And, of course, it's <laughs> not in the best graphics quality. So, it's not like we did anything to make it worth the punishment, is it? In case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm breaking up with you. See you around. P.S. Well, crap. The cheap silver bracelet is engraved, I heart P. Oh, yeah, let's wear it. The race facial is much, <laughs> it was designed to fit Pia's wrist. Okay. Uh, pretty much as I can understand, there's not much you can do in game. I mean, you have the save icon, you have the wait icon, you have the map, which is just basically that. You can go back to your picture frame. Uh, play with some pencils. Yeah, let's look at some pencils. That was some thunder there. There are a bunch of pencils and pens. You're proud of your massive collection. All right, well, let's... No, let's read our post-it. Ed. That's Ed's phone number. Now, there's no area code on here, so I believe I can actually leave this here, but I might strike out this. 
mostly because they're not using the 555. I might just change it all to 555s everywhere, but I don't know. So if it says 555 for you everywhere, that was me doing good editing. And then you can go and call the weather. So, sure, let's take the post-it. All right, uh, let's get up. It's much too dark to make out anything in this room. Push the switch. Ah, let there be light. The room has become bright. Ah, look at the flowers. Hey, the phone's ringing. Hey, Doug, it's Ed. How's it going? Hi, Edsel. Things are pretty well. What's up? I've been fooling around with this new computer game. I know how much you hate them. So stupid. <laughs> so I was thinking of making you a bet about this one. Sure, what's the bet? This computer game is different, Doug. I'm willing to bet that once you start playing it, you'll really enjoy it. What's the game? It's hard to explain. But you become an adventurer in a magical world called Xanth. And you're accompanied by cool people from there. What's the catch, dude? Here's the deal. If you like this game, you'll let me go out on a date with your girlfriend, Pia. It could be pronounced pie. I'm going to go and stick with Pia because that just sounds better. Because betting is like Persephone or... Penelope or something like that. If you don't like it, you can have my motorcycle. What do you think? I already feel your bike within my grasp, Dad. Smart boy, Doug. I'll send the package to you by courier as soon as we hang up. I now have a sandwich. Thunder! Ow! Alright, I guess we'll wait. Ugh. Time has passed. I just opened the door. Hey, it's a package! Alright. Let's go back to our computer. Read. It's a package addressed to you from your friend Edsel. It's wrapped in brown paper. You know, the type where you get your magazines. They come in brown paper. Well, back then they would have. I mean, now you just go on the internet and... Yeah, oh well. Let's open it. Open the package. You have paper. Open the box. Look at the box. Thunder. Yeah, I don't want to look at that. Read the game. It's colorful game cartridge that is open. It is entitled Companions of Xanth. Meta, isn't it? No, I... Fine. Read the tome. You open the weighty companion view. Alright, basically, Compendium of Xanth. Basically, it tells you a lot of stuff. Blind date. These recommends dark fruits grow on palm trees and cause temporary blindness when eaten. Asparagus spears, a naturally occurring weapon, are among the largest and strangest of Xanth's individual products of vegetables. Cherry bomb trees, cherry bomb trees produce small red cherries, shaped fruit that... When thrown, produce minor explosions. The youth of Xanth amuse themselves frequently with the indigenous proto pyrotechnic plant. And then there's more plants, and more plants, and even more, and even more. Alright. Let's open the CD-ROM drive. 
put the CD-ROM in the CD-ROM drive. Close the CD-ROM drive. Wear the 3D glasses. You slide the way cool. Trademark. Shades on ev and everything looks green and red. Let's power the computer on. Boop. You flip the power on and the computer screen lights up. Nine points. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save. Oh, hey. Oh, I guess I don't have to actually read. Well, I guess I do. Because apparently voices don't work. I think I have to have the CD in there. I'm not running it off of the CD. Um, but yeah, this is a game I actually physically own the copy. So we'll turn the music down. I like the music, so we're going to keep it. I think we'll go all the way down to there. Alright, uh, let's click that again. That is in four. You have amassed 31 points of 1,000 points, giving you the rank of adventurer. Actually, I think that said amateur. Uh, let us save. We'll save it as computer. There we are. And we're good. All right. So let's look at the screen. Read the screen. The computer screen displays a small male figure. A strange male figure studies you expectantly. Tiny man, the screen isn't yours to give. Hi, I'm Grundy Golub. Hold on. I don't think this is the right voice. Hi, I'm Grundy Golem. Welcome to the game. It's my job to answer the qu any questions you may have about Xanth, the game, or your potential companions. Why should I want to play this dumb game anyway? Most people would find this game enjoyable because you get to explore a magical world filled with interesting people, places, and things. Are you at all interested in pursuing this game, Doug? Uh, how did you know my name was Doug? Magic, Doug! You'll find things aren't exactly as you'd expect in Xanth. I'm standing on the periphery of Xanth to talk to you right now. So, will you play? Sure. What can I tell you about the game rules, the world of Xanth, or your potential companions? Sure, tell me about the rules. You'll pick one of four companions from the land of Xanth to guide you through the, its hazards. Each one will try their hardest to assist you in your quest for the a prize. Little is known about the prize, but once you have acquired it, you've won the game. Does that sound uh, unstandard rules so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another mundane player like yourself. On a similar quest within Xanth. She will also be struggling to acquire the prize, and you will also be and will also be accompanied by a companion. You may also be I can't keep track of what line I'm reading. Save at any time, but you if you perish within the world of Xanth, you must begin the game again. That's why you save games, people. Yes. When I played this on stream, I did not save the game. You can just call me Grundy if you can prefer. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, you really should go through all of this. Tell me about Xanth. Magical world, distance, cross, powerful things. Yep. Yeah, there are other important things. You must know about Xanth, the game, the win. Doug, you want to learn them? Sure, let's learn them. Uh, there's a demonic president which is responsible for Xanth. Nearly all things of Xanth are magical. Yada yada. We like to talk in puns. These punish names, seriously, Doug. They will be crucial to your success. Tell me about the companions. You will be selecting many companions. I believe there's only five companions, but there's companions. Sure, what about all the companions? Jenny the elf and Sammy the cat. They are two people that you can choose. Basically, they're not your right companions, but you can choose them anyway. 
the cat doors. Che, the cassette doors. Yeah, you can pick this person, but yet again, probably not the right person, but I'm going to pick them anyway. Not a Naga. She's a human Naga hybrid. She has the body of a human and the tail of a snake. Demoness Metra. A female demon. Demons are unique. They are good at what they do. Beware of her cunning ways, though. You know, nod nod. What is this? The adult conspiracy. Ask Nada about that. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to discuss that with you. All right. Uh, yeah. What happened to all my actual stuff? Certain some of your items can't go between worlds, so you have to just leave them at home. I'm afraid not. You can't bring stuff from Zamp to uh, uh, your home. What about the big red book? The big red book? Yeah, it's got a lot of glasses. What about these 3D glasses? Beats me. They're pretty cool, though, huh? They're cool. Yep, cool. 3D glasses are cool, kids. All right. Thanks. Let's go. Now you can pick your companion. The elf chick. She's nerdy, but a little cute. She also has a cat companion. This is the one you... Okay, so there's only four of them. This, I believe, is the companion that you are forced to use. And then, you know, hot stripper companion. I gotta get my mouse away from her. Um, I'm gonna go with her. Because that's what I did on stream, so we're gonna follow the stream. You are in a dimly lit cavern. Ginny stands beside you, getting her bearings. Talk to Ginny. Wait a minute, Doug. I think this ga is a game challenge, and we ought to be very careful. One of these doors is obviously the way out. What do you think, Sammy Cat? <coughs> I think so too, Sammy Cat. Wear the glasses. You're already wearing the cool shades. They don't help you much. Let this one is like obviously the way out. So let's. The cavern you've appeared in is barely lit by flickering thin torchlights. Uh, four different doors. Why do we Ginny and Sammy find the quickest route out of the cavern and we go out the cavern. There we go. As I advise you, picking good companions is of the utmost importance for you to succeed in your quest and prize. You've lost. How was I supposed to do she would screw up, dude? I don't know, Doug. You're going to have to try again. Uh. And that's what basically happened on my first run, or my First little period in the game. Let's smell the sandwich. Does the sandwich smell good? Peanut butter and jelly. All right. Let's eat the peanut butter and jelly. All right. But I'm going to call this a episode part, whatever these things are. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, um, I'm supposed to say subscribe, like, comment, stuff like that. It's up to you. I, I As much as it affects me... I don't care, though. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Until next time, a later.